Hi, I'm Caitlin Kim. I'm a sophomore and I'm one of the arts research interns. Hi, I'm Annalise Ashman. I'm a senior. I'm also one of the research assistants for the Arch Project. We are going through the census records, all of Bryn Morris archives. Right now we have some photos that we're going through trying to identify and name as many people as possible that were part of the real foundation and building of Bryn Morris we know it today. Through this research, we're um, finding the names and uh, as much as possible the stories of a lot of the um, black workers at Bryn Mawr College because um, a lot of their work and their history um, has been just unrecognized and so I think especially for a lot of the students who also live on campus like knowing like Annalise was saying like who was really a big foundation of the school that we are a part of and yeah. So Nikisha Durrett is making a piece where there's going to be pavers in the cloisters and in those pavers we're going to have engraved the names of these um, black workers so that's what we're doing and um, she's be- she's designing the actual art installation that everyone will be seeing very soon. One thing I've really enjoyed is going through the time cards, pay stubs um, for all of the workers. It's really interesting kind of taking off the paper clips that seem like they've been there since the 30s um, and seeing different handwriting and stamps being used as a way of moving in and out of different places on campus. I think that's been really cool. Yeah, so on the 23rd of February, it was Friday, we all woke up really early at Pem Arch and hustled down to D.C. But we started in Arlington and met Durrett and a lot of her team members at the site of one of her other public artworks that was made to commemorate the lives and stories of the Queen City Village, which was a predominantly Black community that was pretty much destroyed for the construction of the Pentagon. Now, they got to go inside, take really cool pictures, but also hear more about her practice and the team members that she collaborates with. And then after Arlington, we went into DC and started off in Nikisha's studio, which it was honestly really cool to one, see like parts of her past projects. And then on the floor, she started to have like a little bit of a setup into, like with cardboard pieces for what the um, pavers for the arch project are going to look like. So that was already cool to like start to see it like come to light. Um, Cause like we're doing things just on our computers and with archives, but to see what the actual finished product is going to start to look like, that's really cool. Um, I think it's just really exciting. I feel so honored and humbled to be a part of it. I've learned so much from so many people and just everybody that has had their hands in it in some way. I think the people who have been a part of Black Ever More Tour and that exhibit were so instrumental to the process and really the foundation of the work that we've been able to do now. And it's been really great just learning a lot about the community that we're a part of, but community that was here before we even thought about Bryn Mawr. Um, it's been a really great process to be a part of.